right, problem A applies this third rule here. You have a base that is an exponent itself, so you're going to take a power to a power rule. So we take our original power, negative 4, times our power 3, and that's going to give us our answer, x to the negative 12. So you could leave it in this form, or if you wanted to rewrite it using positive powers, that whole base of x would, be need, would need to be moved to the denominator and change the sign of your power. For problem B, here it's kind of a combination of these, both the uh, power of a product rule and power of a power rule. Here this power of 2 is going to apply to every single factor in the base. So the 5 gets squared, the x, the base of x cubed gets squared, so when you take a power to a power you multiply, and our base y to the fifth gets squared. Again, when you apply the rule, you take a power to a power, you multiply. So 5 squared simplifies to 25. Power to a power, you get x to the 3 times 2, or 6. y to the 5 times 2, or 10. And so this would be the form of your solution, or simplified form. Okay, and then finally, uh, problem C is the same idea. Every factor in your base is going to have a power of negative 4 applied to it. So I'm going to apply that power first. Okay. So in doing this, I take my base of 4 to the minus 4. My base of x, when I take a power to a power, I multiply a power. So negative 5 times negative 4 gives me a positive 20. My base of y to the negative 6 times negative 4 gives me a positive 24. And finally, my base of z squared, or 2, times a minus a negative 4 gives me negative 8. Okay, I'm now going to just simplify. I'm going to take my bases that have the negative powers and move them into the denominator. So I get 4 to the 4 gets moved to the denominator. My base of x has a positive power, so it stays in the numerator. My base of y has a positive power, it stays in the numerator. My base of z has a negative power, so I'm going to move it to the denominator, change its sign. Okay, so this would be an appropriate form of the answer, especially if you're not using your calculator. If you are using your calculator, or if you have access to a calculator, I would expect that you could take 4 to the power of 4. So the other form of this would be just expand it out as much as you can. 4 to the 4th is 256. Z to the 8th. Again, I don't expect you to know that offhand, but if you had to do it, you should be able to do it with a longhand multiplication pretty easily.